In today's video, we're going to go over the best builds to solo the seven star chest node terror raid event in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So the seven star terror raid event for chest node has finally been announced to return on the 16th of June. Last it made its second appearance in the games on the 19th of May, but was shortly pulled after issues with the Iron Treads and Great Tusk Spotlight terror raid event. We have done a best builds video for this terror raid event already, but since the last time it made an appearance, we have had the introduction of Pokemon Home, so we have a few more Pokemon available to us to make this raid a little bit better, and that's what we're going to cover in today's video. Now, as we know, the seven star terror raid event for Chestnut has already happened. This will be the second time it will be making its appearance. It will be level 100, it will have its hidden ability bulletproof. So just make sure you're aware of what that ability does. It blocks things like Shadow Ball, like Energy Ball, and other ball or bomb type moves the move set that it will have access to is earthquake hammer arm stone edge and wood hammer it will also have the additional moves iron defense bulk up and curse of course it will have that mightiest mark the only current way to get this Pokemon with the Mightiest Mark is from these seven star terror raids, but you will only be able to catch one of these per save file. Although once you've beat it once, you can still go in and beat it over and over again for all of the high cost item drops that you get with this raid event, including large candies, XL candies, TMs, rock terror shards, and ability patches and ability capsules, to name a few. It is gonna have that rock terror type tied to it. And like I said, it will be running from the 16th of June until the 8th. 18th of June to make its second appearance. So if we hop over into game, the Pokemon that we'll be featuring in today's video are gonna be Pokemon transferable from a home as well as some of the other reliable ones that we know about from the first time it made its appearance in Scarlet and Violet. The first Pokemon that we are gonna feature today is gonna be Galarian Zapdos. Now let me just move my camera out of the way so we can see all the details a bit better. All these Pokemon that we're featuring today will be level 100 and all the details, the EVs, IVs and movesets will be down in the description if you'd like to take a closer look at those after the video. To start off with Galarian Zapdos, it is going to have the fighting terror type with it and it is going to have the shell bell item. The only thing that you're going to really need to watch out for on the chest note set is that stone edge. It will be neutral before you can terrestrialize so it will still have the potential to do good damage but with the moveset you should be able to kind of compensate for that slightly. The moveset we've got is only three moves because the fourth move there isn't really anything optimal I feel that's going to benefit going into this chestnut raid and these three moves in my opinion are going to be enough for you to clear this raid pretty easily with the Galarian Zapdos. We have Bulk Up, Taunt and Thunderous Kick. So the basic premise of this moveset is going to be going for Taunt turn one. It's going to prevent it from setting up any iron defense, any bulk ups or any curses for the remainder of the time that it is taunted. That should give you enough time to kind of get through and set up yourself. The next step is to go for just those Thunderous Kicks. So you just want to start spamming those because every time Thunderous Kick lands, it will lower the defense stat on the opposing Pokemon, meaning you are going to get a bit stronger. Then you want to wait for the time when the shield gets set up and your stats get nullified. It will nullify your stats on your side of the field once per battle. After that, go for a couple of bulk ups and then continue to use Thunderous Kick. You're going to be able to terrestrialize pretty early on in this raid. And with the combination of Shell Bell, you should be able to stick around for quite a long time. Uh, you do have the Define ability as well, although it shouldn't really play too much of a factor in this raid. But we have got an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack. You could maximize that even further by going 252 defense and then 252 attack. But this HP and attack investment should be fine for this raid so like i say all the basic premise is going for those thunderous kicks taking advantage of the fact that it lowers the defense of the toggle pokemon every time you use it essentially powering you up and it also works through the shield so when the shield's up on the chest note you're still going to be able to lower its defense and expedite your attack power i really feel like galarian zapdos will be a nice option going into this raid and it's going to be one that's going to make it pretty easy after you terrestrialize and the fact that you can terrestrialize pretty quickly after three thunderous kicks means you can get kind of through this raid pretty quickly we'll move on to the next one of the new transfer pokemon and it is going to be hisui and decidui it is going to be a grass and fighting typing we have got the fighting terror type on it shell bell the item choice because it just gives us a nice line of recovery while we're attacking and we don't have to concentrate on recovering through other means then the moveset we have on this one is going to be sword stance synthesis 
Feather Dance and Triple Arrows, that new signature attack from Hisuian Digisidui. We've got the Overgrow ability on here. You can go Scrappy if you want, but it's not going to make too much difference in this raid, so you don't really necessarily need to waste an ability patch for that one. And the EV spread we've got on this Decidui is going to be 252 attack and then 252 defense with an adamant nature, the rest put in HP. The basic premise with this moveset is turn one to turn three you're going to use three feather dances going to reduce the attack stat on the chestnut two stages every time you use it so using three will make it minus six attack it's going to be like that for the rest of the game then you're going to use the triple arrow move so this is the signature attack of suin's decidui it has a high critical hit chance and it has a 50 percent chance to lower the defense stat on the opposing pokemon every time you use it as well as making it flinch i don't think it'll flinch through the shield but it will reduce the defense stat if you get that 50 percent roll every time which is going to increase the power of your attacks now after the shield goes up you're going to want to use three sword stance maximize your attack and then continually use those triple arrows before you can terrestrialize maximize your damage and this build should make going in against this chestnut pretty easily and finally for our transferable pokemon is going to be probably one of the new seven star terror raid events happening very soon and it is going to be really Boom, we do have access to it in the game now going to be a grass type with the grass terror type and we've got the shell bell item on here for again another line of recovery with the move set of sword stance screech drain punch and drum beating its signature attack we do have the grassy surge ability so that'll summon the grassy terrain to the field for five turns as soon as you start the battle and we've got an ev spread of 252 attack and 252 defense just to maximize longevity with the rest in hp and an adamant nature basic premise of this is turn one to turn three you're going to want to go for screeches get the defense down on that chestnut by minus six it will reduce the defense by two stages every time you use it then after it's reset your side of the field your stat boosts go for those sword stances get three of them off that will maximize your attack to plus six and then start utilizing the drum beating until you can terrestrialize and you're going to be doing a lot of damage once you've got that max attack and they've got minus six defense you're going to be able to take down this this chest not pretty easily in this raid and the other thing is uh rillaboom quite good defensively so it should be able to take a number of attacks especially it's not going to worry about the earthquakes it's only really going to have to worry about the hammer arm and the stone edge coming out from that chestnut so a really good build overall and between these four that you can transfer over you've got some nice options to beating this chestnut pretty easily and then farming it for those really good item drops that we're kind of missing at the minute with the events not running as scheduled just to cover three more builds from pokemon we know are very good going into this raid in case you missed the videos that we put up already when the first event went live we do have appleton it's probably one of the best options still going into this raid we've given the held item of the expert belt terror typing is going to be grass and the move set is going to be sunny day apple acid growth and giga drain with an ev spread of 252 special attack 252 defense and a modest nature with that ripen ability although the ability doesn't really matter in this raid too much basic premise of this is going to be to apple acid um, every time you use it it will reduce the special defense on the target pokemon by one stage so you're going to want to use six of those but after it has reset your stat drops you can set up your sunny day and then go for three growths under sunny day you will get a double boost every time you use growth so you only need to use it three times to maximize your special attack stat and then you kind of combine these two with the giga drain to do huge damage once you can terrestrialize you're going to be able to make easy work of this chestnut really is one of the best options going into this one another nice option that we have tested and showcased on the channel is going to be Lorantis. it is a grass type grass terra typing with the shell bell item as its item of choice and a move set of synthesis sunny day solar beam and leaf storm with the contrary ability uh, for those of you who don't know what contrary does is it reverses all stat boosts so if you get stat boosts they'll become stat drops and if you get stat drops they become stat boosts so this is the the reason behind using this set with this ability so when you use leaf storm normally it drops your special attack by two stages but in this scenario because of the contrary it'll give you a plus two boost to your special attack and stat every time you use it so you want to start off the battle with a sunny day and then literally just start firing off leaf storms 
um, you can synthesize when required and then Solar Beam is another move you can kind of rely on after and if so you run out of Leaf Storms. Best thing to do is make sure that you PP max your Leaf Storm because it only gets 5 PP as a kind of starting point. So you want to just give it 3 PP ups to make sure you've got 8 because you're probably going to need all 8 of those throughout the Terror Raid. But this set will do a really good job against the Chestnut and a really speedy way to deal with it. And the final one for today is going to be Bronzong. Now I did feel Feature this in the last time, the second time that the Chestnut did come into Scarlet and Violet, and it is a great Pokemon. Steel and Psychic type is going to resist the majority of moves that the Chestnut can fire out at you. It's not really going to worry about the Wood Hammers, the Stone Edges, the Earthquake because of the Levitate ability on it, and the Hammer Arm is a neutral attack anyway. So we've got the Shell Bell for a line of recovery, as we always do. Steel Terror typing on there, and a move set of Calm Mind, Iron Defense, Metal Sound, and Flash Cannon. EV spread of 252 special attack 252 defense with a modest nature like you can see there it has got that levitate ability this is going to be level 100 and the basic premise with this move set turn one you're going to want to go for an iron defense it just allows you to take those hammer arms a little bit better then fire off three metal sounds before the shield is set up it's going to put its special defense down to minus six then after your stats have been reset on your side of the field get a couple to three calm mines up and then start firing off those flash cannons and it will make such easy work of this chestnut. You're gonna have no troubles at all. So there's three options there between the Appleton, the Lorantis and the Bronzong. In case you haven't got access to any of these Pokemon, from Pokemon Home that are transferable now into the game. So you've got a nice selection of Pokemon that you can choose from, and they're all gonna be able to go in and really have an easy time solo in game beating this seven star chestnut when it does return on the 16th of June. So friends, that is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you like the builds and have a lot of success putting them together. And when you take them into this seven star chestnut raid event, when it finally does return on the 16th of June, of course, we'll go live again when the event is live and go through some of the best solar builds from the new transfer for Pokemon because obviously we can't really test them now although the theory of these knowing the raid they should work pretty fine but again we will go live with all the details as soon as that raid goes live let me know if you've got any of your own builds that you're planning to take into this raid I'd love to hear what you're using drop a like it does really help the channel if you have found the video useful and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content thank you so much again for tuning in have a great rest of your day and i will catch you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye